Have you given any thought to carpooling? The idea sounds more and more appealing with the rising fuel prices. A ride-sharing program is among many ways WKU is hoping to ease the pain at the pump. If you've been thinking about sharing a ride, there's no time like the present. Our ultimate goal for this is to definitely cut down on uh, our carbon emissions and, and gas savings. WKU is among the locations served by Barron River Commuter Connection, an online ride matching program. It's a very simple one, two, three step process that we have fairly, fairly uh, simply lay, laid out on the opening page. Simply log on to brad.org and click on the link. If you see that your destination is on there, then you may want to create an account. And once you create an account, you can list whether or not you are a ride seeker or a ride giver. The service even offers built-in protection for those who might have unexpected circumstances. The advantage of having that program run through the Brad office is that they have a grant to provide an emergency ride home program. And that is something that is really a safety net for people who carpool. Another place WKU is hoping to decrease its carbon footprint is in its fleet of buses. We've seen uh, an increase in fuel costs in our program from $80,000 a few years ago up to $130,000 plus this year. That's why the university is planning to increase the amount of biodiesel it uses. We are looking into increasing that uh, by as much up from 5% to 15%. Even WKU's president is supporting the green initiative by driving an electric car. Last November, Dr. Gary Ransdell was handed the keys to a Volt, which has a driving range of up to 379 miles without using any gas at all. To find out how you can take advantage of the ride sharing program, log on to brad.org and click on Barron River Commuter Connection. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.